Hey guys, Zigbo here from Minecrashers. I just want to show you a quick little thing about uh, dimensional doors that hasn't been mentioned, and uh, a little trick that I have discovered with it I think you might like. So, here we go. Uh, first thing is the unstable door. Uh, I don't think anyone's mentioned this before. And what it simply does is leads you through a random, it says destination, but it's a random rift that's already in the world. It's not just going to pop you out somewhere random. Uh, entirely. It is semi-random in the fact that it will put you randomly through whatever door that you got already in. So if I go through this, uh, there's this rip chilling up here. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just over here. Uh, so yeah, that rift was over there. I didn't even know that one was there. It just sends you through a random one. Looks like, uh, okay, threw me out a hey, uh, random dungeon rift portal here. And, well, a thousand meters out, okay. Well, see, that's how that one works. It'll throw you out a random portal. It's not entirely random, so I just wanted to point that out. And once I get back here, I'm going to show you a uh, cool little trick uh, to sneak into uh, someone's base and have them not know how you did it. So, you're going to set up, well, let's pretend that this is your base here, where you're going to uh, sneak into their base from, and this is your friend's base. So what you're gonna do is, when they're not there, obviously, you're gonna set up a uh, little rift, teleport between the two. So now, so now you got the two-way portal going on here, the back and forth between the two spots. But you want to make it so that they don't know how you got in there. So at the exit portal here, I'm going to break it and remove this side. Now once this is removed, this side is still here. And this door still has its exit point saved, so when you go through it, you pop right out where it normally would, except you can't go back. So if you've got this, pop into someone's face and they'll have no idea how you got in there. So. You just hide this inside a pocket dimension from inside your base somewhere. I have no idea how you got there. So, just thought I'd show you guys that. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.